disabled and I was a trainer for like 18 years. I was uh, involved in different kind of uh, uh, drug addictions. I was uh, addicted to liquor. I was a smoker for 19 years as well. And then what happens? One day I met a guy, he preached the gospel to me. I didn't really believe at first place that if he's telling the truth, of course, you know, being a man, you really have to uh, stand firm on your, you know, whatever your parents have taught you or something. But I really learned that. When I started reading the scriptures and the Bible says that I have to uh, submit myself to Christ and I have to surrender everything to Him. So I didn't really like the idea, but I really knew, know in my heart that this is something really true and this is really something important. I gave up everything to God and to be, uh, you know, to a level of like, a, it's so shocking for me that in a couple of months I was able to overcome my, uh, you know, drug addiction and uh, my smoking habit and liquor addiction as well. Well, maybe for many of you right now, you will be thinking the same that, you know, how is it possible? How, how can you do this in a couple of months? But to be very honest with you, I just prayed and I don't really know what happened, but I surrendered everything to Jesus and I said, God, if this is what you really want to do, please do this trick I said. Is this okay or I'll just make myself comfortable? Yeah. It's temptations. Temptations is something uh, there is a there is a difference between temptation and falling in temptation. What I'm trying to say here, that being a man, especially in this recent age, I really found out that with a lot of uh, leaders and with a lot of people, they usually think when they're tempted, they fall into temptation. And by doing this, they actually discriminate themselves or they sometimes really, you know, look down at themselves. And sometimes because of this, they really feel like, you know, condemned in their heart. But remember, falling into temptation and being tempted, it's a different thing. This means if, for instance, if you're looking at a girl and then this girl is very beautiful and you probably, she's very seductive uh, clothes or something and you look at her and you, the first moment you look at her, you get like, wow. And if you keep on looking at her with an intention that she's looking beautiful or she's looking hot or something, then that's where we are actually falling into temptation. Let me, let me tell you once again. If I am looking at someone with an intention that this person is right in front of me, that's something else. That's not the thought that we have generated. We cannot really close our eyes while looking at people. But when we look at the person with an intention, we started thinking that how beautiful her body is. That's the time we actually fall into temptation. What I'm trying to say, there is a very thin line right here. Guys, we gotta, we gotta learn this. We really gotta learn this because this thin line is basically right here. is always trying to strike us down on our weaknesses. He will never attack you on those areas where you are really strong. He will never attack your strengths. He will always try to attack on your weaknesses. Now what happens? If in the past you have done something and that condemning thought is actually running at the back of your mind and you probably have given your life to Jesus right now but you think, what should I do now? Because whenever this thought comes, I feel condemned, I feel unsafe, I feel insecure. And this is once again falling into the trap of the enemy. That's once again a form of falling into temptation because the enemy is trying to let you down and he really wants you to see that you are unworthy, that you cannot do these things because he wants you to feel guilty, he wants you to feel condemned. But remember that there is no shame, there is no pain that God cannot really remove from your life. He is always there, like me. I was falling for those temptations, like addictions, intoxications that I had in my and I really thought that it's going to be okay. But what happens? In the end, I found out the peace I'm looking at, the love and the kind of uh, affirmation I always needed in my life was always found in Jesus, in Christ. You cannot find this elsewhere. Remember that. James 4, 
7, 8 says that we have to resist the devil and it at the same time says that draw near to God and he will come closer to you at the same time. Today is the time if you have fallen for temptations and if you have really, te uh, I mean if Satan have really tempted you in the past, you can now give us these areas, these temptations to God so he can actually turn into and he can turn into a blessing that you have never experienced because he has all the authority. This is the good thing about Jesus, that the things that you cannot do, he can do. Sometimes the most unfavorable circumstances you have in your life becomes the best thing things ever happen to you. Hi everyone, this is Zayn from Pakistan and I want you guys to act like a man. Hey, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you really like it, you can uh, press the like button and then underneath there is another option, subscription. You can subscribe to our channel as well for more videos in the future. And if you really have any question related to this or you really want to share something, you can actually go to the uh, comments area below and you can leave a comment there. Thank you very much. Have a good one.